All right, it's me, Turville Silvor. Hello, hi, hi. All right, so the point of this video is quite simple. I'm going to teach you how to use DOSBox on Linux. So one of the biggest problems I've run into is I don't use Ubuntu, okay? I, I'm a Linux user, don't use Ubuntu. A lot of people don't use Ubuntu, it's fine. But the problem is, of course, is that everybody and their, and their brother is like, oh, yeah, Ubuntu, I got to use Ubuntu, it's the only way. It's all about Debian Linux these days. Ah, you don't want to, yeah, it's okay, you can move on. So I'm using an RPM-based Linux. Specifically, I'm using like Fedora 36 or something like that. So the main thing here is I'm going to explain how to use DOSBox. Pretty straightforward. So first off, uh, the good news is DOSBox works super well on Linux. Uh, so uh, there's a couple of forks of it. I don't use regular DOSBox. I actually use DOSBox staging. So if you go to DOSBox staging using the GNOME Software Center, all right, this is the thing to use. It works super well. works super great. So I'm going to go to DOSBox staging and open it up. So it just automatically uh, will open, and by default, you'll get this screen. The screen is tied to a Z drive. It's like DOSBox staging 0.79 or 0.1. Don't worry about the version at this point. So the point is, is I want to play a DOS game, right? Well, the problem is, is that um, it doesn't really naturally interact with the file system. You have to kind of point it to the right folder. So you're going to want to set up a folder. In my case, I've set up a folder in my home. I have a folder called, where is it? It's called DOS games, but where the hell is it? Do, 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 DOS games. So if you want to know where a folder is in Linux, particularly in Fedora, all you got to do, right click on the folder and go to properties and it will tell you its location, right? So if I'm going to do DOS games, what I'm going to want to do is I want to mount this folder as my C drive, okay? Because as far as DOS box is concerned, it's like a little DOS computer. So I'm going to type mount C home, turbals, cell board, which is usually the user, and then I'm going to go to DOS games, right? Oh, I spell it wrong? I sure did. All right, so the nice thing is I can see it, and I, I didn't put it in there. There we go. Drive C is now mounted. So now by default, it's still in drive Z, so I'm going to want to change that. I'm going to want to go in, and I'm going to say, uh, so I'm just going to say C. There we go. Now it's set to drive C. So now if I type directory, it'll show me everything in the directory. So if you've been watching my other videos, you know that I I uh, play a couple of I've been playing a couple of DOS games here. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff. So if I want to like say play a game, I can just uh, DOS command to look in a folder is CD. Very similar to Linux, honestly. If you're playing in terminal, CD INTR play right. And now it switches to that folder. So if I hit DR again, it'll show me a whole bunch of stuff. So what do I want to do? I want to go to CD flash. There we go. Got it. So, and then if I do DR, shows me a whole bunch of files. EXEs and BATs are the things that are executable. So if I do whip.exe, it's going to try to execute it. There we go. I got music, sound, all this stuff. Wow. It's so cool. It's super exciting. So. That's how I do DOS games in Linux. Uh, use DOSBox staging, don't use regular DOSBox. DOSBox staging is a bunch of pre-configs that make it a lot easier to use. So, that's how it works.